What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome to my F1 2020 Austrian Grand Prix race review And wow, what a race it was, well worth the 7 month wait since the checkered flag in Abu Dhabi And there's just so much to talk about in this race I've tried in my notes to put down everything that happened, I've probably even missed something but before we talk about the race I'm just going to run you through the order of actually Bottas getting his first win of the season and his first win since Japan I want to say yes, um, Leclerc P2, Lando Norris getting his first F1 podium he's now the youngest podium placer in the sport Lewis Hamilton coming home in P4 Carlos Sainz P5 Sergio Perez P6 Pierre Gasly P7 Ocon P8 Giovinazzi 9th and Sebastian Vettel running at the top 10 in 10th and Nicholas Latifi the final finisher in 11th place in that Williams now are you ready for the list the list of DNFs Kvyat, Albon, Raikkonen, Russell, Grosjean, Magnussen, Stroll, Ricardo, and Max Verstappen. That was the order that they finished in so, so many retirements. So let's get into it, shall we? The lights went out, everyone was giddy. And straight away we had action, Bottas getting a very good start, he bolted straight away, Verstappen Probably not getting the start he wanted. He was left defending Lando Norris at the start, who had been promoted because of Hamilton's penalty um, for yesterday in qualifying. And then Hamilton was battling Albon at the start. I think he just about got ahead, but then Albon pulled back. And there wasn't really too much change in the opening laps, especially on the first lap. Bottas got an unbelievable gap out to Verstappen on the opening lap whilst Verstappen was defending off um, Lando Norris and um, Vettel started being at P11 of course he got up to the P10 and that, is, that was pretty much it and um, Bottas started to stretch his legs and um, Verstappen was there Hamilton was making his way through he got past um, Albon, that was quite a tough move for him, but we, he did get him in the end, it was quite an easy move. Um, then he came up to Lando, got past Lando, and then was hunting down Max Verstappen. When everyone thought we were going to get a Verstappen v Hamilton battle, the Honda engine in that Red Bull just broke and it sounded awful every time he put his foot down. It's like it just didn't want to get into gear or something and he dropped from second all the way down into into last place um, whilst he's making it back to the pits and then once he got back to the pits I don't know whether they changed the steering wheel or something they, they changed the tyres and they tried to go again and they thought they fixed the problem but then as soon as he pulled out the pit, the pit box it stalled again by the looks of things and that was game over for Max Verstappen. Then we had Hamilton really getting the hammer down and chasing after Valtteri Bottas. And then there were issues with the um, racing point of Lance Stroll. He was nursing um, an issue, he didn't have power. And then that got to a point where he had to come in and retire. About five, six laps later, Daniel Ricciardo suffered the same fate and went out the race as well and then there was a battle between Ocon and Magnussen and Ocon really struggling to get past him and then went for a move into turn three and as he went for that move the brake the left front the right front brake in that house failed and he went straight on and spun the car around and that brought out the first safety car of the day so we had pretty much the whole field coming into the pits most people going onto the Haas, both Mercedes did 
Um, Sergio Perez going on to the mediums. Lando Norris going on to the hards. And then um, Perez actually getting released straight into the path of Norris. And they went side by side out of the pits. We saw Grosjean being Grosjean. He dipped a wheel in the gravel and spun. And then a couple of laps later, his brake failed and he just went straight on. And that was him out of the race. So that's a double DNF for Haas as well. Then George Russell, who was having such a good race. He was um, two places off a top 10 finish and off points. And then his Mercedes engine broke and that brought out another safety car. And then Albon, as the safety car was pulled out, went for a move on Perez, got the job done. He then, then initially gave the place back into Perez but then um, Perez had to give the place back to him after Red Bull um, had spoken to the race director and then Boss has launched again it was a great launch and then Kimi Raikkonen's front right tyre just come pinging off it was a very strange one it wasn't um, like they hadn't put the tyre on properly in the pit stop because the the tyre came off the rim it was just the tyre there was there was no rim that was still tyre came off the rim the rim was still connected to the kind of the hub so the safety car came in Albon pitted for fresh tyres Mercedes um, the safety car came out at the wrong time for them so they were still on old tyres and then um, Albon gun in for Lewis Hamilton Got a good exit, tried to get him into turn 3, I think it was, and then had him all the way down to turn 4, went on to the outside of Hamilton and then pulled a stunning move round the outside of Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton pushing him right up to the edge of the track and then on the exit of the corner there was contact and Albon that he sent spinning into the gravel and pretty much copy and paste of what happened in Brazil last season and then Albon was down at the back and everyone I've seen some videos saying people um, saying, that, saying that Hamilton should have had a bigger penalty, he got a 5 second time penalty I guess you can kind of say that I'm biased in this one, I am a Hamilton fan but to me it's a racing incident nothing more because if you watch it from Hamilton's on, on board rear tyre clips Hamilton's front tyre and that's what sends him spinning Hamilton people are saying Hamilton should have given up on the corner why should he give up he's just pushed him all the way around the outside it's nothing more than a racing instance I find the penalty very very harsh but I see where the FIR are coming from but I just think it's racing incident, Hamilton's pushed him all the way around the outside defending brilliantly and then on the exit, Albon's got the better exit and then obviously got better traction and it's just clipped Hamilton's tyre and that's what sent him round so call me biased but uh, it, that, that's, that's a racing incident all day in my opinion so Albon was sent down at the back, he started to make his way back through the um, field and then a couple of laps later Albon started to make his way back through the field he suffered the same fate as Max Verstappen and retired towards the end of the race then Perez got up and they've been in the pit lane as well it was Bottas across the line to win the race Hamilton second Leclerc third but Hamilton didn't have the gap out and slipped down to P4 so it was Bottas Leclerc Norris then Hamilton and then Carlos Sainz P5. There was another point in the race where um, Vettel nearly took out Sainz. He kind of went for a move, the gap was closing and then that kind of, he kind of locked up trying to avoid the incident. They just about did. What a race it was in the end. So much action, literally some really, really good action in those last 10 11 laps and just an overall great great race Austria really thrown up some good races in the past a lot of reliability problems for the teams that I'm sure next weekend will be ironed out a lot of it going from the curbs because the 
car was very, very aggressive in Austria. The two Mercedes having to nurse gearbox issues because of them going over the curb. Well worth the what seven month rate, seven month gap since the checkered flag in Abu Dhabi. And if next week is anything like that one, then I'll be very, very, very happy. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What you made of the race. Let's have a discussion down below. What do you make of the Albon Hamilton incident? I've made my opinion very clear. If you do like this video, if you, if you like this video, then if you want, hit the like button, subscribe, because now the now everyone's back on. I'm gonna be doing race reviews, and next week, of course, on Tuesday, the F1 game comes out. So I will be starting my team in career mode. So look out for that on the channel as well. But until the next one, I'm going to watch that race again. Goodbye.